hello and welcome to cracks hoi today in this video i am going to keep the review of proton plus room which is running on latest android 13 so let's see what's inside this proton plus as you can see this is proton plus 13.04 room it has android security update of january 5 2023 and running on latest android version which is android 13 and if you look at the kernel quicksilver kernel is used in this proton plus and all the credit of this ROM goes to its respective developer. The first thing I noticed in its about phone section is that there is no any Android 13 Easter egg opening option which would be inside this about phone section. The best thing that you will get in this ROM is that this Proton Plus has inbuilt Google Camera 8.6. I tried this Gcam and everything in this camera is working well. This has pixel launcher available and both split screen and free form is present. Inside its home screen not so many features are available but you will get search your phone and suggestions option inside it. And inside its wallpapers and styles you will get both wallpaper colors and basic colors option. Also dark theme, themed icons and app grid are also present. And in widgets, you will get all the latest widgets including this clock widget. And talking about phone dialer, you will be getting Google phone dialer where there is call recording option but no auto call record feature and also you will receive recording announcement while doing call record. But you can remove that call recording announcement. For that, you need to watch my video from the description section below. And on Google Play Store inside Play Protect certification you will find devices certified which means you will be able to use banking apps without any problem as safety net is passed. Also on Google Photos app you will get unlimited photos and videos backup feature in this Proton Plus. In this Proton Plus there are few apps pre-installed and while scrolling and swiping over the screen I am not facing any lags. This is how quick setting panel looks like which have setting and power menu icon located at the bottom of the screen and scan QR code, one handed mode as well as recorder tile is present. Also there is brightness slider along with auto brightness button. You won't be getting much customizations related features in this room but this will give almost stock android experience with better smoothness. Talking about features. Inside its battery setting you will get battery saver and battery manager option and inside this battery saver extreme battery saver is also present which is one of the most needed feature. And inside display you will get adaptive brightness along with screen timeout and this screen timeout maximum limit is 30 minutes and this new screen attention feature is also added here which will prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking on your phone. Also dark theme option is available with pure black custom theme option and if you want to schedule your dark theme you can do it from here. And inside your security you will get both fingerprint and face unlock feature and both of them works perfectly. And inside languages and input setting there is app language where lots of apps are now supported. There is live translate feature along with gesture setting. And inside gesture you will get your favorite feature swipe three fingers down to take screenshot which works properly. And some other basic features like quickly open camera, one handed mode, quick torch by long pressing power button, press and hold power button for power menu or digital assistance with advanced restart option is present. And in system navigation, two button navigation is now removed. You will get three buttons and gesture navigation in it. And button navigation have only hold home for assistant present. Similarly in gesture navigation, swipe off for digital assistant and hide navbar pill is present. Additional features like Xiaomi parts is also included which have same old features like MI sound enhancer, clear speaker and many more. There is no any updater section for OTA updates but you can access to display cutout option from its developer setting. And it has total 8 different display cutouts present. 
So this is all about this latest Proton Plus 13.0.4 ROM. This ROM gives nearby stock experience with no many customization features like on other custom ROMs where there are lots of customizations and due to that they face bugs and slowdown. But in this Proton Plus you will get very smooth experience with good performance and battery backup. So this is all about the Proton Plus 13.04 ROM. What do you think about this ROM? You can comment your thoughts and suggestions on comment section below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.